Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Clan. Today we'll be talking about a spectacular update in regards to a $5 billion fund to power Hedera's ecosystem. On the 16th of September, the Hedera Governing Council, which is made up of the likes of Google, T-Mobile and IBM, to name a few, announced the approval of a plan to allocate 10.7 billion HBARs from the Hedera Treasury, which at the time of recording is approximately worth $5 billion towards the development of the Hedera ecosystem. The $5 billion fund will be managed by the newly created Independent HBAR Foundation. The foundation will have autonomy over the distribution of HBAR tokens and how the tokens will be used. The $5 billion fund will be geared towards providing support to startups who wish to use Hedera's network, whereby the HBAR Foundation will assist monetarily and also aid in marketing strategy and business developments. The foundation will also accelerate the development and adoption of the Hedera network for a wide variety of applications in decentralized finance, non-fungible tokens, central bank digital currencies, gaming and other industries. The HBAR Foundation will be led by Shane Hidgen, who has a multitude of experience in venture capital and private equity, most notably the development of multi-cloud applications and identity management. In response to this new development, Hedera Hashgraph CEO Mans Harman stated, Two years have passed since open access and the Hedera network is now the most used, energy efficient, enterprise grade public ledger on the market. In our mission to make the Hedera network the de facto standard for the decentralized economy, it is now time to empower additional organizations to speed up network adoption. We are pleased that the Hedera Governing Council has made such a significant commitment to accelerate the decentralized growth and usage of the network. This significant fund could lead to invariable increases in the number of organizations who turn to Hedera rather than other DLT platforms such as Ethereum. This factor will lead to further increases in the usage of the network, thus leading to greater transaction volumes. As a result, HBAR token demand will increase. Furthermore, over the short term, this could be massive news, especially when looking at the effects of fund approval in other projects whereby the Harmony Project's $300 million ecosystem development fund led to Harmony's ONE coin to rally more than 100% upon the announcement. Hedera may see similar rallies in price, and with Hedera already enjoying parabolic increases in price of its HBAR token, this news could send the HBAR price through the roof. I also find it very interesting and exciting how the Hedera team have openly stated that they are involved in CBDC developments in this article, with Hedera being linked with a number of CBDC projects, most notably the Federal Reserve CBDC, as well as CBDC developments in India, Ghana and Nigeria. The mere mention of Hedera's direct involvement in CBDC developments may entice further retail and high net worth investors to gain further exposure to HBAR, especially over the short run. In other news, the Hedera team has announced upgrades to its smart contract service, which will allow developers to harness the speed and scalability of the Hedera token service for fungible and non-fungible tokens with the flexibility of fast, low-fee and industry-standard Solidity smart contracts. With the enhancements to Hedera smart contract service, which will be scalable to thousands of transactions per second with finality in seconds and low predictable fees, Developers will be able to also enable programmability of those tokens to enable DeFi and other applications which require payments based on certain actions being taken or conditions being met. Smart contracts only have to be called as needed, not during ordinary transfers, thereby taking advantage of the native speed of the Hedera tokenization service and offering the most flexible way to achieve programmability. These tremendous updates will make Hedera a standout platform for smart contract utility, whereby Hedera's ability to process thousands of transactions per second with finality in seconds and low predictable fees will make it a highly efficient platform for enterprises and startups alike to form smart contracts which can process and validate actions seamlessly. Such factors may entice more organisations to base themselves on the Hedera network, which in turn will lead to increases in the demand for HBAR tokens to namely act as gas. As a result, the price of HBAR will increase, especially over the long run. These stunning developments 
As for the already exciting news of two globally renowned universities in the London School of Economics and the Indian Institute of Technology Madras becoming Hedera Governing Council members, the addition of such accredited institutions into Hedera's Governing Council could bring a number of benefits to the Hedera network. Most notably, the Hedera team will be exposed to a multitude of academics who are at the cutting edge of DLT developments. With Hedera's ability to network with a number of academics and industry research leaders, this could aid Hedera in furthering developments in its infrastructure and aid the network in providing the ability to implement features to enable web 3.0 applications and digital platform formations. With the substantial $5 billion fund the Hedera Foundation will directly manage, smart contract developments and with a number of accredited organisations backing Hedera, the future looks even brighter for Hedera Hashgraph. What are your thoughts on Hedera? Which news article excites you the most? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching the video, we hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.